delete or deactivate an electronic portfolio using import profile. So in this case, we've seen something similar with physical items where you have an import file, let's take a look at it, with records marked for deletion. So how is a record marked for deletion? Delete portfolio. Is the, this is my file, um, my import file. And we can see here in the leader field, right, the fifth position, DAM, this D stands for deletion. Uh, it basically says that if we try to import this record and a match is found, it will be deleted. So for the example I want to show you, I'm going to run this import twice. Once I'm going to run this with NAM for a new record, we're going to import this record with the import file, and then we're going to run the same import again and show the new feature um, of deleting the record that we've just imported. So, and the only difference is whether the record is marked as a new record or whether it's marked for deletion, right? Deletion D, new N. So, this is our input file. We have here uh, one mark record um, with uh, um, a title, 1001 Photoshop Tips. Let's first um, import it into a collection in Alma and then delete it from that collection. So, this is Alma, hello. And once again, we go to configuration menu, import profiles, add new profile, and repository, that's fine. We'll call this my deletion import. And we're going to use it first for a regular import and then for deleting. Next. And next. Now, uh, here we already have a checkbox, allow bibliographic record deletion. So remember, we're go well, there's two things that can be deleted. One is the uh, bib record and another is the portfolio. So the new feature is the portfolio, but uh, basically um, you, we can also check this to delete the bib record as well. But the two are not dependent on each other. You can choose either, and we're going to choose both. So allow bibliographic record deletion. And we need a match method. We could do it with O35 field, a unique identifier. And next. Next. Okay, so it's electronic inventory, right? We're talking about portfolios. And there's a new checkbox here, delete deactivate portfolios when bibliographic record marked for delete. Now this is currently not activated. We have to first make this an import into an electronic collection. Okay, so now we check this, delete deactivate portfolios when bibliographic record marked for delete. And this will enable us to run the import uh, and delete the portfolio. Okay, so now let's select an electronic collection. I'm going to select one of my local collections. Um, I think I had one called local graphic design. Okay, graphic design collection. And we'll select this. And now we're going to first import the portfolio into this collection and then we're going to delete it. Okay, so the important thing is we mark this for delete deactivate portfolios. Now, uh, a portfolio will be deleted if there is no uh, associated PO line and it will be deactivated if there is an associated PO line. So that's the explanation of why it's either delete or deactivate. Save. And I believe we've called this one deletion, my deletion import. Okay, let's run it now first. 
And now this we're running it to actually import the record. File. This was my file. I called it delete portfolio. Add. And submit. Okay, the job is running. In process, we'll give it another refresh. And completed successfully. Let's take a look at the imported records. Great, so we see that 1001 Photoshop tips has been added to the electronic collection, graphic design collection. Now we have a, an EOD file that marks this record for deletion. And we're gonna run that file and see that the record is deleted. So, the only difference here is in the leader field, we have a D now in position five, effectively um, marking this record for deletion. Save. And let's run the import again. Acquisitions configuration, import profiles, my deletion import, actions run import. And now the portfolio will be deleted. Let's select the input file and file. Delete portfolio. Lovely. Add. Submit. And now we're running the job and the idea is to delete the portfolios from the collection. Let's give it a refresh. Complete it successfully. And how many imported records should we have? Zero. Why? Because we've deleted the record. Let's take a look at our collection and see if the portfolios were deleted as well. Uh, we can see there is no uh, portfolio list here, so that's already a good sign. Graphic design collection, additional information, and actions portfolio list is deactivated because we have no portfolios here. So we've seen how we can delete electronic portfolios with a EOD file, with the records are marked for deletion.